Good evening, my people. Welcome back to our very channel. We're here with more news and more updates. And this happened to be our Prime Minister updating us concerning the tour he's making around the globe, trying to make ends meet, trying to have align forces that will help us to go free from Nigeria. It's not as if there should be war, but hence they are pushing for war. What do you do? We need to defend ourselves, all right? So he's telling us what he had with Russia president. God help us that this may be true. God help us. God help us. We need freedom at all costs. We need it. Let's hear him out. Our own job in the international community and beyond. I am just so proud of the Afro people, irrespective of what the enemies are doing, irrespective of what the vendors are doing, using some scrupulous in individuals in our means, trying to break us. We came out stronger than ever. I am so proud to be part of the generation that is making this history in the world's most complicated country. Breaking away from Nigeria and exiting Nigeria, Nigeria is a very complex, very complicated, very devilish and evil entity, which must be disintegrated and Bia France are taking the lead. I want you all to understand that the southeast part of Biafra will take the lead for the Nigeria disintegration, and it has started today. No amount of military equipment will stop Nigeria collapse. No amount of military tanks will stop Nigeria from collapsing. No amount of intimidation, harassment, killing will stop Biafra from exiting Nigeria this year. The earlier we exit, the better for them. If they continue to delay the exit of Biafra, we will make sure everything in Nigeria is crushed. And at the end of the day, Biafra will still exit. The best thing is to begin to negotiate and begin to call for a roundtable discussion on the referendum as soon as possible. If that is not done, we will destroy everything about Nigeria and at the end of the day, Biafra will still come. I welcome you to this space today. Tell us what is happening in your area. We know that the, especially the five states of the southeast part of Biafra is under lock and key. Part of the south-south Biafra is also under lock and key. For the very first time, this civil disobedience is going to enter a different level from tomorrow. Remain indoors so you cannot be killed by the Nigeria state. You see, they have rolled out the military. They have rolled out their killing machine. Do not fall victim. Let them come to your house and kill you. And even though they cannot do that, and sometimes they do it, this time around, we are ready for them. As I'm speaking with you all this morning, the war is going on somewhere in Imo State. Since 4 a.m., the shooting and the sound of freedom is sounding heavily somewhere in Imo State. And the Biafra Liberation Army has neutralized many of them, as I'm talking to you. And they will continue to go down. All of them that come to kill our people in Biafra land will definitely go down. They can never make it alive. So Biafra Liberation Army is doing a very good job with the spirit of Biafra, protecting them, guiding them, giving them the power they used to do to neutralize these people. You know, some of them are wondering, have we uh, contracted some machineries from uh, somewhere to come? Have we brought uh, fighters from Israel? Did we bring fighters from uh, Germany? Did we bring fighters from Finland? Did we bring fighters from abroad? Are we now working with, you know, so this kind of uh, question is what they are, what have been asked themselves. But what I don't know is that, that you, we, we surrendered in 1967, is not because you overpowered us, no. The reason that made us to surrender was because of lack of information and lack of communication. It's not because of weakness. And this time around, we are more advanced. Not only that we are more advanced, we have also, we control the communications and the media. So you can never defeat us. Not today, not tomorrow, not next year. 
not now, never. Even if we have limited resources to fight you, you can never defeat us. Today, those of them that are fighting, as I'm speaking right now, somewhere in Imo province, you can attest to that, that you are falling in your numbers and you continue to fall. Those of you who are there continue to shoot guns and all that, you are going to fall today. Today you will fall in the Afro land. I welcome all of you. And uh, sources, can you uh, come in so we can take questions? And this is a referendum on its own. Remember, this seat at home is to demand the raise of Mazin and Mikano. Also, prepare the Afro people for the self referendum, which the convention is coming up in Finland on in this October. So, what we are doing here is to make sure that every stone is turned for Biafra independent and exit from Nigeria. We've taken over, we've made sure that the illegitimate representative, Nigerian representative within Biafra land are receiving the message of rejection. That major that mission is what you see today in Enugu State, what you see today in Anambra State, what you see today in Imo State, what you see today in Abia State, in River State, in Akwaibom, and so on and so forth. It is called the message of rejection. Uh, so, say so to you. Good morning, Prime Minister, Your Excellency, Mazi Simon Epa, the Ambassador of Peace. Good morning, fellow Biafrans and uh, dear compatriots, and the government of Biafra Republic government in exile. My heart, my love, everything I have goes to you because. You have demonstrated that yes, you can lead Biafra, not now, but in future. What you are doing now is just an exercise of what is to come. And I must commend all key officers of the Biafra government in exile for their uh, wise decisions. I must say, wise decisions they are taking in ensuring that the Biafra people are free. And dear friends, we are here once again with our PM, Umejiro Buago, Agune Chimba One. They will never surrender until all of them die finish. And there will be their end. The remaining one, according to Yendu, will go home and never find their homes anymore. It is playing out under the command of our able commander. Field Commander Simon Epa. Good morning, fellow dear friends, and welcome to this very space. We are here to celebrate the victory of today's, the first day of the 14th day marathon lockdown in Biafra, and the whole world is at tune, watching what is going on in Biafra land, especially in Enugu, where they think armor tanks and air fighters will protect people. You are making a very big mistake. The people have decided. And this is where our constitution is going to have it is based from. We the people are not so lit. We the people. We the people have spoken that we are not going out under the instruction and authority and command of one and the only Prime Minister of Biafra, Mazi Simon Eba. And there is nothing the enemies can do about it. We are here and we will continue to be here solidly behind our Prime Minister to defend this very cause of freedom at all costs. Whatever it will take for Biafra to be free, I'm telling you, we are getting there. And it is this year. It is this year. In Enugu State, we have demonstrated to Umba that your alliance with the Metre or the Zoo Janja with terrorists to come and hurt Biafra did not work. Try other methods. And if care is not, if Umba could keep on doing this, although will be a challenge to what is going to see in Enugu State. Because their friends are wise. They say we will sit at home and you are forcing them out of their home. It will not work. Everybody remain at home. And they come to this very space. Please share this space. People should come and let us interrogate. Uh, 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 ask questions. Let us as well have a very good time with our PM and uh, the people's uh, general, Mazi Simon Epa. 
is a general in it. And what they did not see is the real man in him. They were looking at his face. They never know that there is somebody behind that very face, not the person wearing that face. There is a spirit behind that very face. And today he is dealing with them. And they are shamelessly dancing and following every bit of his direction, including the governors are sitting at home today. The governors are sitting at home. All commissioners are sitting at home. They must sit at home tomorrow until they bring Onyendo out. That's just what it is saying. And the PM, permit me to say, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the king of our time want to use Onyendo's name and control Biafra in proxy. We are wiser. The spirit, the letter that they bring out does not come from the spirit, and that is why people rejected the letter. In Aba, where they think that they have a stronghold, Aba is under lock and key today. It shows that the spirit of Biafra is in charge. Thank you, my PM, for coming at this very time. May God bless you and bless all your cabinet and bless Biafra. Here, the microphone will be open. If you have a question, please throw it. Very hard one. Very sensitive question. You see, he rolled out the 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 the, the um uh, uh building structure of biafra yesterday and you saw it i don't know if many of you saw, uh, saw the pictures the the prototype of biafra how it's going to be how biafra land is going to be within some times of our independence so i want you to anchor your questions on that very angle and other related angles that are not sensitive bordering on security please don't come to ask us where is the uh, uh, do we have a what we are going to use to defend our air we, you may not know if we have or not but you saw them yesterday crying because we dealt with their uh, 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 jet fighter and if they come again we will do it again no apology so ask your question very intelligent one that our pm we used to educate the world and the Biafran at large, what we are going to meet in the next five years of Biafran restoration. Thank you, and I will say, Capital Oil, unmute yourself and go straight to your question. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, my brother, sisters, I, am I coming clear? Loud and clear. Okay, good morning, my uh, Prime Minister. I greet, sir. Thank you so much for today. Yeah, I. This morning, I've been going through all the videos coming up from Southeast. Even I'm preparing to put them together to post online so that people will be seeing it on my uh, page. Yesterday, I, I made a post yesterday about the Prime Minister's uh, message concerning the sit at home. So when I made the video, the one he said that people shouldn't uh, risk their life on this, uh, people giving money to come out with petty business. So I was trying to make the video to go viral, and I I I I posted on that. Uh, I made the topic on that video like uh, uh, Prime Minister has cancelled the sit at home, so that people can get attention on that uh, video. Under five, under five, uh, not up to five minutes. I posted that video. A lot of people were cursing and insulting me. That uh, how will I post, uh, make a comment to say that Prime Minister didn't. Uh, uh, cancelled the the the, the sister at home. They haven't even watched the video, my brother. That's why I found out that people are not interested on even anything you are saying about them, that there will be no sit at home. I was like, what really happened? I I was trying to explain to them on the comment section that no, the, you know this uh, the message that uh, Prime Minister brought out yesterday was urgent and people have to get attention because when you post make comment like that, they will be interested to to find out if it's true then they will listen to the announcement the prime minister made but my brother i rushed even that minute to, to go and change the 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 the, 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 the subject of the uh, of the post i made so what i'm saying is that people are not interested on anything all these uh, fake letter all those fake informations from people that i don't even know so what i'm saying is that uh, prime minister 99.9% .9 of, of, of people in the South East are interested on the sit at home. Even this morning, they've already confirmed it. So, what I'm, and I also made a post on the palliative, which we saw that people were sharing. So, we really appreciate uh, the government. I just want to 
I don't have any much question to ask. I just want to inform us that our Prime Minister is doing great and we are really behind him. Thank you, my brother success. Uh, I greet all. Thank you for the feedback. Thank you for the feedback. A very good feedback. Thank you very much. We will continue to push until the last minute. Thank you. Thank you, my brother, Capital Oyo, and uh, keep it up. Our destination is Biafra. And any other, any other option they are giving to us will not work. So keep on sending your microphone request, please. Uh, we want to have as many speakers as we can. Uh, without wasting uh, time, I will say, who coming now? The microphone has dropped again. Please send your microphone request. If you're having a network challenge, please uh, move to a place you can have a good network while you can to the prime minister. Uh, what they don't know is that uh, the message has accolated and it has really sink into the heart of people. And the people know who carry the spirit and the anointing. And the offer, the offer, oh, yeah, the offer. So the person has spoken, and that's the person they are listening to. So we want to see your microphone, please. The one of the sit at, uh, two weeks, uh, sit at home, 100% today. Nigeria collapse will start today. We are at the brink of the Red Sea. All Nigerian Janja will be, will, will be drowned there, as the, the drowning has started from Imo State, and it will go around all over. Your microphone request, please. Africa, Africa, please uh, go back and come in again. Your your network is bad. I cannot accept you. I'm trying to accept you, but it's not uh, working. Go out and come in again. And every other person, please send my microphone request. We want to have a very good number of speakers in this very space today. So the thought, this is 67, that they can manipulate. No, not at all. This is 2023. Russia is not coming to help them. Britain is afraid. America is afraid. Nobody will come to help them. They will surrender by force. And there's nothing anybody can do about it. We will take our freedom in our hands. That is why they went to, to, to Asaba and start displaying Israeli flag and Israeli play materials. Just to say that Israel is the one uh, giving us um, um, machinery to fight them. This is the, way, the connection, and it has started in Olu. They will confess that Biafran Army is not easy going. The Biafran Liberation Army is one of the most resilient forces we have in the whole of African soil, and there's nothing they can do about it. There's nothing they can do about it. Victory is ours, and we are fighting a just cause. This two weeks lockdown will prove to the whole world that nobody imposing themselves as governor, as senator, as a commissioner, as LGA chairman, even world leader is in charge, except the Biafran Republic government in exile and the Biafran government, uh, the federal government in homeland. So this is where we are. And let's keep the dice rolling. Let's keep it rolling, please. Send in your microphone request. Nobody sending requests. What is the problem? Send your request, please. We want to have very good numbers of speakers. Africa, your network is bad. I don't know. Your network is bad. I have tried to accept you. There's no other way. No other way. No other way. I don't know. What is the problem? Okay. This two weeks lockdown is their regency. We are going to drown them here. PM, if you have any message to pass across, you can uh, keep speaking why I receive them in. I don't know, many of them are having challenges with their network. Terribly. I think, uh, I think uh, it, is, it is time for me to hear the concern, you know, those who are always having concern. Uh, well, how you are doing it, why you are doing this, why is the sit at home, why is that? Those kind of things are the kind of uh, questions I want to address this afternoon, this morning, depending on where they are listening from. So not when they go to their shell, they will start talking out of point and telling people, it's only sit at home. 
you only sit at home, you you know, uh, you are suffering people, you are this, that, and do that. So I want them to come here and ask me direct question, you know, that bothers them. So I can address it. And then also educate them why we are doing what we are doing and the reason we believe in what we are doing. Okay? So I'm just here to uh, listen to questions and address those questions, no matter any question at all. And one thing they should know is that the self-referendum is fast approaching. We are going to have at least 60 international organizations to observe it. At least 60. 60 international organizations will observe the first self-referendum. And what we are doing today is to prepare the ground. I continue to tell them to follow instruction, listen to instruction, follow our directive, and you will find yourself in Biafra. You will sleep in Nigeria and wake up in Biafra one day. I am telling you, I know the date Biafra will come. The first time I made this uh, statement, I know how they were bombarding me, how they didn't take me serious. But it is part of uh, it's part of the uh, the game. So, uh, so sir, sir, over to you. Uh, give me one more minute. Thank you, sir. I think. Uh... Uh, you will uh, co uh, find uh, another, uh, another co-host to assist me because I'm not seeing uh, people uh, requesting for microphone here. Uh, if uh, uh, if I'm Mora, uh, if I'm Mora, Simon, uh, if I'm Simon, if I'm Mora, is available. He can uh, co-host uh, with me here so that he uh, can uh, be seen people because the people one person here. Uh, requesting for mic, I can't accept the person. I've been trying to uh, accept him, but the microphone is not going. So uh, that is my own challenge. Yes, as you said, the self-referendum is where we are going. And you are saying if they have any other way that we can do it without sitting at home, they should come up. So if they have, they wouldn't have waste time to uh, bring it out, counter our seat at home. So. To me, there is no other way. There, there's nothing they have. They have nothing. They have no agenda in their table. There's nothing absolutely they have to do with uh, their friend restoration in another way, if not this way. What is their anger is that why it is not me? Why is it not me? Why is it Simon Epa? Why is Biafran, uh, it is Biafran Republic government in exile? Why it is not me? This is the question that has been clocked in their hearts. And I'm telling you, this is pure envy and jealousy. They have no other method. If they have, by now, they would have bring it up to counter this very city at home. And, but right now, there's nothing like that. So, but... I won't overrule if you have another method that will be very much effective and uh, uh, harmful, uh, harmless, uh, uh, or harmful, uh, that will be very harmless. Bring it out. I don't know. Yes, sir. Okay, so, uh, yes, we can hear you. Uh, so, sir, sir. You have, uh, you're having a network issue. So, so I have to uh, be back in the next uh, two minutes or so. So I think uh, the, by then I will assign another um, co-host. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. So what we are saying is that there is no other way. If they have what other the, ways, by now, by now, by now, they would have countered us with that their way. way. But as I said, we are not overruling. They may have. What is the Bayan Water? Get our Wally Bung, 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 get our Ndini ra go bi afra na ndi sistem so nuno bi awuraje na obo ka we ta ni be ko no bi awuraje na obo ka ka we ta kwa ni be ko no babara yo si ala na na bende mo ka babara no si ala na bende mo ne ndi na chukun ngina ngina na jira no ji 
When I say any uraji and uraji, I'm going to get a dish and those are called uraji. I could not kind of good not genuine as a table was a break. I know who have one do I neck and do I know and do I know and do I know what? I take a dry yama go to dry yama gaffa for dry yama. I walk or dry yama and is an unknown. Can you watch me and Annie? But you go to Gabam and go with Malaya. When I say any kuna kind of good, any 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 good, he offers love, forgiveness, and restoration. If this fits you this very evening, or fits, or fits your nation, so to speak, we are now going to pray for repentance and restoration. That will help us to find renewed joy, hope, life, and consistency in our pursuit of the freedom of our people who that Chibu Kikadiyama mandated us or created us to pursue on this very end. Beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega, the Lord of all the hosts of heaven, the ancients of the, as I would say, the ancients of the ancients. Everything you created is yours. Every glory and adoration is yours. Everything that we are today likely to become tomorrow is all in your hand. They belong to you. Every glory is yours. It doesn't belong to any man. It is only today. We are tired of our sinful struggle in life, both as individuals, as a collective, and as a nation. And we are not ashamed to admit that before the congregation, the assembly of men and women all over the world, that you may know that it comes from our heart, that we are not deceitful. We don't pray this prayer in the quiet, or should I say, in the secrets, or secrets of our home. We are praying that the whole world may hear us, because right now, our nation the nation of Biafra, as a collective, we feel very distant from you. Our choices have not led us into the right places. We have listened to the whispers of the enemy. We're not expecting them to join the Biafra liberation. They can never join it. If you sit at home and the economy is going down, it is their pocket that is going down, not you. You did what? Not you as a beer friend. It is their pocket that is going down. Since 1999, we did not have sit at home. Did we have sit at home? We had sit at home from 1999 to 2019. I'm asking you. When I come to tell you, oh, yeah, South East, this is, we are there sit at home from 1999 to 2019. The answer is no. That we are no sit at home from 1999 to 2019. Yet, there were no hospital. Yet, there were no good road. Yet, there is no school. You pay more than any other country in the world and we have nothing to show for what you pay for but today we have decided to crush the economy we start by crushing the economy of anything in nigeria within, within the afro territory and that is why that idiot that criminal is crying Mba is crying the only thing he wants to do is to validate the fraud he has presented as a certificate and for that reason, I want every Biafra watching me now to listen to the exposition we are going to do this evening. If you are watching on Twitter, we urge you to join us on Enter Biafra Channel 2. Join us on Enter Biafra Channel 2 and let us continue. We are going to analyze and expose the reason why Mba is shouting. And let me tell you, Biafra, his failure will start from tomorrow. From tomorrow, Mba failure will start. Biafra, Ganyuyai, Paku. 
I want you people to understand that he's not the only governor who has failed. All of them have tried it. We are very, very resilient. We are very, very ready to get our freedom and exit Nigeria. We are not expecting them to join this train. We are not expecting them to join the Biafra liberation. They can never join it. All these people are the stooge of Fulanese, the people they are using to subjugate us and enslave us in our own land. So from back to no peace, he must remove his hand. From back to no peace, he must remove his hand from anything Biafra. He must completely excuse himself from fighting Biafra. But now he started by fighting Biafra from the beginning because of forged certificate of the LYC. So I want everybody to listen to the reason why Mba is fighting sit at home. He is not actually fighting sit at home. He is only trying to demonstrate to the Fulanese that if they allow the fraud he presented as an NYC certificate and allow him to become the governor of Enugu State, he is going to kill the Afghans. He is going to make sure he fight against the Afghans. Because fight against the state at home is fight against the freedom of Mazin and Bikano and fight against the freedom of Biafra. So my fellow Biafrans, I want everyone to watch this. Another issue of for conversation tonight will be area of um, uh, politics and some of the intrigues. We will be turning our attention at some point to a developing controversy surrounding the National Youth Service Corps certificate of the newly uh, of the elected governor of the Nubu State, the governor elect Mr. Peter Mba. The issue has uh, sparked public debate and raised questions about the authenticity of the governor elect certificate. It has come to light that there are concerns and allegations regarding the genuineness of the NYC certificate presented by the governor elect during his campaign and subsequently uh, for the election. This controversy has attracted significant uh, attention has become a subject of uh, interest among citizens and political observers. The NYC scheme in Nigeria is a crucial and compulsory mandatory requirement for Nigerian graduates as it serves as a means of national integration and provides young people with an opportunity to serve their country. The issuance and verification of NYC certificates play a, a vital role in determining the eligibility, eligibility of candidates for various purposes, including that of the governor of the state. But the director general of of the NYC. The Brigadier General Wadi Ahmed said that it is a certificate of being paraded by Enugu State Governor Elect Mr. Peter Amba was not issued by the NYC. Are you hearing that? The NYC uh, certificate that the criminal Mba is parading submitted to the INEC of Nigeria that he is trying to represent in Biafra land was not issued by the NYSC. And what the criminal Mba want to do is to fight Biafra so that Fulani can say, oh, he is fighting Biafra. Let us allow him to continue to fight. So he's not actually coming to bring infrastructure or development to the people of Enugu State who as he is representing Nigeria in Biafra land. What he presented as a certificate was fake. This is coming from the whatever director general because Nigeria breed criminals. And what Mba is trying to do is after challenging our seat at home for Biafra restoration, he is going to convince the Fulanese that yes, he is capable of fighting in Biafra Liberation Army in Enugu State. I want you people to understand that it is not today that you Hey, hello, ladies and gentlemen, fellow friends. We have uh, we 
we have our mother in the house. We have Igwe Jejogo. Igwe Jejogo. Biafra in the house. Uh, this is very special. My first time I'm hosting, I'm having uh, our defense uh, minister in our means, Igwe Jejogo, one of uh, Biafra. Igwe Jejogo, mommy, we love you and thank you for uh, being with us this very morning. And of course, uh, you know, we had today's uh, the D day. Uh, we've just started uh, the sit at home uh, today, and uh, we are here for our people. Uh, I believe some some people will be calling in from back home. Yeah, um, Jogu. Of course, uh, we have to mount uh, mount this place. This is a very strategic position this morning, and um, I our people will be calling in. I don't know, Egwe Jejogo, we sent you mic. Can you join us if you want to address uh, address us? Uh, I mean, it's uh, it's still early from my side. I don't know what, what time is it in the US, but uh, we have kick started the seat at home. Myself, I'm sitting at home. Uh, a whole lot of us are sitting at home. So uh, we are here for our people. And the city sit at home is very, very paramount. It's a very special one uh, because uh, there's none like this very type of seat at home. It has faced so many, um, you know, controversies and propagandas and all of that. And up to this moment, our leader is still in the hands of the enemy and they haven't released him. And uh, we have him back on this uh, very seat at home. Uh, our our Prime Minister have uh, addressed the issue with a very particular seat at home that makes it very special, like uh, every other seat at home. Where is this file? Great. Perfect. All right, good. So we, this seat at home tends to address uh, some very pertinent issue in our life, like uh, the demand for the immediate release of our leader, Mazin Amdekano, and of course, uh, in preparation for the Biafran self-referendum and notifying the world, uh, the world of our readiness to self-governance. And of course, uh, the demonstration of 99 loyalty to the Biafran Republic government in exile by all Biafrans and um, uh, to invalidate the legitimacy of all Nigerian electoral and non-electoral officials and um, all their institutions and everything. So this is this makes this uh, very seat at home um, a very special one. Uh, because uh, this particular citatum tend to achieve these five major points, as our Prime Minister addressed it last time. Um, thank you for uh, being with us this morning. If you are closer to your device, or probably hearing our voice, of course. Uh, Biafra Warrior Queen, you want to say, go ahead, Biafra Warrior Queen, and meet yourself. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for those that don't know who is Egwin Jejoko, is our minister to the state, Madam Aduga, one of the other land. So we are so happy to have our leader today. It is the first day of the seat at home, the first day. I will call it the first day of the continuous discussion of the seat. Thank you. That is what I just said. Maybe many people here will not know who he is. So you have to finish the introduction. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hello. Thank you. Hello. We are so yeah. honored to have you. Are you hear me? Absolutely. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. You know, um, you know, sometimes. When I see something happening this way, I'll be like, oh my goodness, everybody is getting ready this time around, you know? And uh, I did uh, um, like uh, 25, 20 minutes to 1, 1 a.m. here in United States. And uh, I'm so surprised. I just got into my Twitter and then saw that uh, 
<laughs> there's something going on <laughs> that's the way i move you know so Absolutely. thank you thank you thank you everyone uh i will i will i must thank our prime minister <laughs> prime minister is uh oh okay i think uh, this is your money and uh, thank you thank you so much for all you've been doing you know uh he doesn't sleep you know, sometimes uh, 3 a.m he's still awake you know fighting everywhere fighting from the twitter from facebook everywhere you know and uh, we are so opportune uh to have a man a fighter and a prime minister the arrowhead at this time of our struggle. Thank you for all you're doing. And we really, really appreciate you. And I'm sure that I've got so many calls from Biafra land. And all I've heard is, do not give up. We are solidly behind you. Do not give up. Do not give up. Give it the last breath. That's all I've been hearing from people and that makes me tick all the time and in the same day we we support you so much the umada of biafra we will never depart from you until you achieve this dream because that is your mission and that is our mission thank you mr bright and the other of your colleagues who are here making things happen uh we are so grateful because uh you guys are doing an amazing job uh, without you guys it wouldn't have been possible for us to get to where we are today and thank all Biafran people who are here today is the beginning of the journey of the triumphant entry into the promised land today marks the beginning of everything today Biafran people will prove to these criminals who have been ruling us, who have been in power since I was born. Since I was born, I cannot imagine where gang of gangsters and criminals and those who are uh, um, vampires and those who are courtists are ruling a nation and expect the ordinary ordinary man in the street to have a better life for him and for his family i have never seen a thing like that it doesn't happen in a developed country but the fact is that we have come and we have come to restore the land of the almighty god we have come to restore peace for those who have been in distress for a long time we have come to give harmony to those who have been stressed out by the evil agenda and the evil agenda of the Fulani Caliphate in our own land. We have come to end their misery that have cost our people for over 100 years. We have come to end the impunity from the British government that have been, that have lured into our people for over 100 years we have come to end up everything and that is why we are here we are on a mission and i will thank god because we have a man that doesn't shake a man that will tell you my a is my a and he stands by it a man that can never shake if you like bring the whole house where he is and that is what our prime minister mazi simon Epa, has been you know doing he has vowed to restore Biafra, and that is what his master mazi nandikan saw in him forget about all the shenanigans going around all the stories and all the nonsense that is going around I have never seen we are somebody who is fighting for his self-determination all over the world have become a, a crime. I have never seen we are somebody who is fighting for his freedom or her freedom. 
has become a criminal. Though they are, they, they term them criminals, some some term them, you know, um, um, uh, terrorists. But it doesn't stop. It doesn't stop anybody that wants to achieve freedom for his people, freedom for her people, for freedom for their people. And we are all in this together. We can't get to where we are today without each and every one of you. The different people who have been following the instructions, and that is the only thing you need to do. The only thing you need to do is to tell these criminals that enough is enough, that you are here because you are a human being, that you are here, that you have an inalienable right, you have everything that God bestowed in you to live as a human being and not like an animal. You're supposed to have a better life. It is a fundamental human right. You're supposed to have better hospital, good health care. You're supposed to have infrastructures. You're supposed to have a sound technology. You're supposed to have everything good for yourself. So I'm asking me the reason. The reason is God, because God gave you all these resources to be able to elevate yourself, to be able to live a better life, to be able to give a better future for your children, born and unborn. To hand your children a very sound living before you this planet Earth. It is not all about these people who have been, you know, bringing all manners of evil from everywhere. Unleashing devilish attacks on our people, thinking that they will use politics or use um, a class to maintain their status quo. This time around, that status quo, status quo must be broken by the people. The people have the power, and your power is to obey the instructions of sit at home. This sit at home will bring a new chapter for your life because by the time we we'll finish these two weeks, Nigeria will beg to where to get salaries to pay their workers. These criminals will not even have a dime to live on. And that is when their crisis will start. So all we are encouraging you is to pay attention. It is not easy, but just, you know, Cap your, cap your, cap your, cap your, your ears. Close it very well. Do not listen to them. It is not all about them. It is all about you and your life. It is all about having a good education. It is all about the youth having a very serious uh, uh, job. It is all about youth getting to 20 years you are married. It's all about our like, Young girls or your, our our girls when they finish maybe um, 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 college, they get a very good hus husband, and then be able to take care of their families. It's all about handing a very good generation for your children when you're living this planet Earth. That is what you're fighting for. You are not fighting for or oh, somebody that will come tomorrow and give you rice or somebody will come tomorrow and give you a bag of salt, or somebody that will come tomorrow and deceive you and rule you for eight years, eight good years, without having given you any meaning in your life. And I had some of them discussing it in, the, in their channel last time about, are we going to give the poor, uh, is, did they say a break, a break? Or I don't know, I don't, I don't know what they, I don't know they said that day. Like, are we going to allow said, them to breed? If they should, if they should allow them to breed, are we going to allow them to breed? I, I, I cried that day. I must be honest with you. You cannot do such a thing in United States. The next minute, you will resign. I am telling you, that is what it means. What it means is that you want to tell these people that this kind of inhumanity can never, can never continue. That is what you're trying to tell them. 
there is nobody, everybody is created with equal rights by the Almighty God. Everybody has inalienable rights by the Almighty God. So you cannot deprive me of what belongs to me and expect me to be happy. That is what they are doing. How many percent are they? Only one or two percent. So you, the poor, like have called you. The masses own the power. We own the power and we are going to take that power from them. So what you need to do is to sit at home and tell them that enough of this nonsense, enough of this carnage, enough of this stupidity, it will not continue. They have to come down so that the youth can now take the future because they don't know, they are analogs. They don't even know what is analog to start with. Because they are all illiterate. They don't know what they are doing over there. And that's why they will tell, um, send their thoughts to another country, export terrorists to go and blow up somebody's a house or look for somebody to kill. They want to maintain that stupidity. They want to maintain that hopelessness. They want to maintain that. I, I don't know what I'm going to use, honestly, because I'm pissed off each time I remember what is going on in that God forsaken country called Contraption Nigeria. So, what you need to do is to sit at home. By the time you do it today, they will know that they don't have that power anymore. That you, you're the one that have the power yourself. And the power belongs to you and the Biafran government in exile who will be bringing new things for you, who will be giving you good life, who will be bringing new technology, who will be bringing a lot of things that will make you to feel like a human being. That is what we are fighting for. So, my people, just pay attention. It's not going to be easy. But I tell you, by the time you finish these two weeks, I am telling you a lot of things. You see what we are saying? That brings us to the end of this very video. And I know God will help us. Because it, um, the handwriting is on the wall that it is this time or never. Pepper must come. Thank you and God bless you all.